Hi guys, back for another episode of Scratch. And in this episode, we are going to start on a new series about making a cloud saving tower defense game. So let's get started. I'm going to start by deleting the first sprite and naming our game. This is going to be kind of a playoff of Balloon's Tower Defense. It's going to be, um, well, man versus balloon, B A L. And instead of monkeys, it's going to be people attacking the balloons. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to create our title screen. Mine is going to be really simple. I'm just going to have some hill here, color that in, then make a path here like this. Just drag it out like that. Now color the sky. There we go. And now we will make our first sprite, which will be a balloon fitting for the game. Mine will just be a red oval with a little nubby thing on the bottom. Well, that looks really weird. So just a little nubby thing. And then it will have a few different costumes, one blue, one green and one yellow and one pink so what will happen is events when this sprite clicked control create clone mice repeat five times looks next costume and control create clone myself Look, switch costume to costume one right here. And then events when flag clicked, looks hide. Control when I start as a clone, looks show. Actually, no. When flag clicked, show. And then I'll create another costume, which will look like this. It'll have a little play button on it. And this is just basically some title screen animations work that we're making here to make a interesting title screen because if you have a game on scratch you're going to want people to actually play the game and that starts off with getting them interested in the title screen. So now look switch costume to actually no they won't it, this won't be the thing. But instead, we will have a small little go button here. It will be just a circle. And we'll put some text on it that says go because it is a go button. And we are going to want to dye that a different color of green so it will actually show up. And then scripts, events, when flag clicked, motion go to here and then instead of when the sprite clicked events when I receive new message go clicked okay <clears throat> when I receive go clicked repeat five times create clone myself looks next costume control when I serve as a clone motion go to here then repeat repeat until sensing touching edge motion change x by three actually by looks costume okay and then what we will do now is costumes costume six will make like a popping thing it'll look like the balloon has popped so looks switch costume to costume six sound Play sound pop, control, wait one second, actually 0 0.2 seconds, and delete this clone. Okay, so now we're going to test out and see if there's any bugs. Yeah, there's a small bug, um, maybe minus 230. Sprite one. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 
And then you'll see that they all pop, but what we want to do here is events when the sprite clicked, looks, switch costume, well, events broadcast go clicked. And then we shall test it out. Oh yeah, we have to put hide. So now what happens is the balloons will come out and they'll get popped when they reach the edge of the screen. So we have some pretty good animation and we can just do that over and over and over again even though it might completely screw up the system and make everything lag to all hell. But you can see we have kind of a working thing but you can only click it once. Events, actually, um, um, what should we do here? When go click switch costume to costume one, repeat ten times, repeat five times to create clone myself. Okay. Because it doesn't really work too good. But, what we're going to do, control, if then, operators equals looks, costume number equals one. Events broadcast new message, show go. And then what we're going to do here is looks hide, events when I received show go, looks show. So now you'll see that they go high, so we can't click it anymore and mess anything up. But now, when this very slow red balloon reaches the end, it will pop and then the go will appear again. And yeah, that's it for here. Actually, I think I might have <clears throat> just a bit of a better idea. Instead of play sound pop and switch, just wait 0 0.2 seconds to delete this clone. Right? Events when this sprite clicked looks next costume and we are going to want to reverse around all of these costumes. Actually Yeah we are. Or are we? I don't think we are going to, so we're just going to keep it like this. And then events when this sprite clicked next costume. If then, operators equals looks costume equals five. Looks next costume. And then sound, play sound, pop. And control delete this clone. So now, oh yeah. It won't, our thingy won't work anymore. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do play sound pop. And we are still going to do the go will show up again. Yes. But it won't be just the balloons flying to the other end. Because what we will do here is six, actually three. And we will do wait one second. And if costume equals one, broadcast show go. No, we won't do that. But what we will do is control wait 20 seconds and looks show. So now what will happen? is the balloons will come out and then you pop them. I'm not very good at this already, as you can see. But then, okay, 10 seconds, I guess. It's a bit weird how they pop immediately. Wait a second, I've got, I got this. So instead, of them popping 
like immediately when they come out what we're gonna going to want to do is looks switch costume to costume five and yay as you can see I'm not very good at my own mini title screen game and the goal is to pop the balloons before they can get to the end with your cursor but I am absolutely horrible at it probably in full screen mode I'd be quite a bit better but we don't have I don't really have time enough to test it right now so you guys can go test it now pause the video if you want to test it and yeah so now you're back from your testing and seeing if you can win so now let's finish off some title screen art so what we want to do here is we are going to put a few balloons just make them pretty small it's about this big then we'll make a blue one and a green one and we'll make a pink well a yellow a pink one a purple one and those are all the balloons there so now what we're going what we're going to do is we are going to give them little dots down here to make them look like balloons and not ovals just going to finish off giving them all the dots there we go so now we have a bunch of balloons and we are going to make a plane hopefully it looks like a plane I don't know if it will but we are just going to try our, our best to make something half decent there we go there's our propeller there we go now we're going to make our little place where the guy will sit well sits then we'll make the back fin thing there we go Just gotta get that colored in then I'll make the wing and no that's not what we want to do here we go and then I'll put uh, little guns out the front with bullets and I will put our title up here it will be MVB standing for man versus balloon and I will center it make it big up here there we go and that is it for this episode creating the title screen next episode we are going to work on our sign in block for signing into our game then we will probably work on the login block next episode and after that we will work on loading so that's it for now guys and subscribe and like.